Oh, here, wait. I'll be back in one moment. Gotta check some. Hello, hello. Welcome back to some more map making. The map still needs a name. I still have. I don't know what to call this map. Probably still a hang or something. Uh, we have a view. Hello. Okay, so, uh, yellow box is over this way, and we're making yeah. underground study dragon lair cave. Probably, probably <laughs> bookshelves? Bookshelves are good. Okay. I... Okay, so I have very minimal experience <laughs> with things like world edit. Well, we're making a ripoff of minimalist, so this is good. Minimal, minimal is good. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I think I'm going to commit a huge mistake right here. Oh boy. But I think it might work. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I'm hoping that this will be a fun method to generate caves. Um, let me check the <laughs> reference sheet. Look at the syntax. There's always the way. Alright. Let's start again. Yellow, yellow. Okay. Okay, what could go wrong? Uh, I have backups if anything does go horribly wrong. It doesn't matter too much. <laughs> Two blocks effect. Oh. Nice. Uh, you've replaced both of those stone with air. That is in fact what happened. Should I make the entire thing stone first? Will that be helpful? I think so. Okay, well, you're about to suffocate in a block, but yeah. Replace uh, stone. Okay, now let's, let's try this. <laughs> well, it's gone back to air again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it seems that I am too rusty with simplex to use it. Uh, it was a good idea, though. But I always have no idea how to use simplex, so... I was I was hoping to uh, it will <laughs> randomly create little air pockets, but oh well. Hmm. I'm thinking let me just mess around with some place we'll do this right now. That we kind of have. Ah, hmm. uh, the uh, the dark Spiro approach of area building. I see. Layout will placeholders <laughs> first. I'm thinking maybe this will be a huh, I don't know, balcony perhaps right here. Mm-hmm. Probably the wool is going to be in a center platform. Center platform right here. Maybe um some balconies around the edges. Mm-hmm. Perhaps if we had some sort of cave in the center, but with like, library rooms off to the sides. Mm. That sounds good. Hmm. Now how do I fill the room with a cave? Ah, we could use TNT. Well, we, we could. Everything's bedrocked. Yeah. Nothing can go too wrong. Um. Hmm. There we go. I do have an idea, which is probably a stupid idea, but I am tempted to try it. Uh -huh. 
What's that? If I did a ratio of 19 air to 1 TNT, and then activated the TNT, what would happen? Would it blow up all the stone? Or would it leave oh. some funny pattern? Or would it suffocate me inside of a block? <laughs> there we go. That would be interesting. Let's try that. Uh, replace. How do I do ratios again? Use spawners that spawn falling blocks to create a cave. I think that would just make a bunch of. <laughs> it's expelling mites or stalactites that go up from the floor. I never remember which way around it is. Uh, I believe stalactites. Uh... Stone gets one. Yeah. So if I do one, 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 one. <laughs> With McTyping. And then, uh, what's the block ID for TNT? TNT is 40 sits. Yep. What could possibly go wrong? Kind of an interesting cave down here. Sort of, kind of, maybe, possibly. Now we just have the... Remain. Huh. I feel like some of the TNT is going to get I could do a replace TNT with stone, and that will fix it. If I can get away from the sound of all the explosions going off. I kind of like the weird platform. This is quite nice. Hmm. This is an unusual approach, but I kind of like it. I guess it's kind of similar to the method that some people use of summon charge creepers with no fewers at your position and fly around to make caves. But even more chaotic. <laughs> Yellow. We're over halfway. Th no, we're not over halfway through. We're right near the beginning. This is number five. <laughs> um, yeah, it's true. Mm, possibly. Oh, sorry. I'll be right back. No worries. is an unusual but interesting shape that we have going on. Okay, there we go. So Let's just re replace everything with stone. Well, we have kind of an interesting set of platforms that have appeared. Yeah. I'm thinking, what if we had a palette of kind of yellow and green? So end stone and Mossy cobble and things like that. And stone and mossy cobble. Hmm. It is a strange combination, but we can try it. I think it might work, but we'll see. We 
mix some sandstone into the kind of library sections. Uh, Mossy is this uh, sandstone. It doesn't look too bad, actually. Oh, interesting. I was thinking of um, <laughs> the end stone for the structures and the mossy for the outside of structures, but this works hmm. too. It's a little bit noisy, but I think with such a small yeah. area, you can kind of get away with that. Just for the moment. Yeah. Mm. How do we paste this? Or just like that might be better. What did the mossy cobblestone say to their brother when asked if they were ill? I'm vine. Please. Oh, Please. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> I am not. This joke is not vine. Okay, we could use some vines. Okay. I haven't had any vines in an area yet. Probably, uh... I wonder if we could divert the player probably upwards and then maybe a path downwards. Just actually, I should probably yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah. Cool. Oh, what's the command for that? Uh, just slash slash replace air uh, uh, 212 comma 24. Okay. Or 121 comma 24. Numbers. How do they work? Ah, I have a good typo. That is ice and cobble. Stone breaks you're looking at if I had to guess. To read that out. Okay, fine, sure. What's a phantom's least favorite block in the game? Bedrock. Yeah, Bedrock. <laughs> We're not getting any better. This could be more traditional rooms, and then this could be more open. Yeah. Where do we want to put the wool, though? Probably in the upper room, since we can partition that. Yeah. 
I'm thinking if we do how high up does this go? Yeah, that could go up that way. So we want uh, this block is 74. So if I do from 73, 74, 75. And they actually give us a couple of block space. So, yeah, okay. version. Um, I think whether they actually exist at all. I'm pretty sure they do. We'll see cobble stairs. Exist. Uh, they were added in 1.14. <laughs> there we go. Stair fans. for endstone yet either oh we could use birch fences yeah that will probably work oh no they don't they, they don't really work <laughs> <laughs> now i have to look up the page for wall wall oh yes they do exist so we can just place hold of them okay uh endstone brick or well, endstone brick wall Again, 1.14. 1.14 was apparently the stairs and walls update. So many wonderful plots. I'm gonna try out. Yay! Data values to work. I'm thinking of using light blue wool for the uh, structures or the walls, mm -hmm. Let's see. and then yellow for the ground, or like the natural cave floor. So they use placeholder blocks for something? Yeah, <laughs> I just uh, prefer it for uh, block variation. Yeah, okay. Bedrock. I guess maybe I should. I don't know. I'm gonna be squished on room. But never mind. Or is that not the case?
And then this way could go up here, I think. There's the ceiling. There's the ceiling. floor might be a bit much, but we could cover the floor with cobwebs. That could work. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Instead of lava yeah. or something like that. And stone and cobwebs tend to look quite well. Quite well. They tend to look quite well together. Yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, this is reminding me of the anthill from Monumenta now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the structure bits will differentiate it. Let's have... Let's stop this from being... Looking quite so much like natural stairs. Even though it just kind of yeah. form stairs. with a ladder or something here-ish. Oh, the debug stick doesn't exist in this version either. Nope. Darn. Can't fix this glass pane. What a glass pane. Yeah. <laughs> See, I can make bad jokes too. There's lots of opportunities. We have some sort of balcony up here as well. Actually, going to be stone. Want to hear a joke? Well, I'm being told enough of them already, so why not? My ex wife still misses me, <laughs> but her aim is getting better. <laughs> hmm. Actually, we could probably just hide lights in between the 
Ist da gleich zu. Seems like something just stupid enough to actually exist. Cave. Don't know why I'm looking so many things up. <laughs> Shandel. Cave chandelier. Oh yes. That is that is indeed a chandelier in a cave. Oh. Yeah. There's an example that exists in real life. It works. It it looks beautiful, right? Right. No, nothing will go wrong. Uh, it looks very strange. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that photograph from the uh, good old history textbooks of the uh, the Russian train station, where everything is. It looks like a grand palace or something. Everything totally ornately decorated. For some random train station. That's what it reminds me of. It's a chandelier hanging on the roof of a cave. Why? <laughs> now that's that's a Minecraft house right there. <clears throat> Truth is stranger than fiction. If we wanted to be quite this open, there's a lot of unused space here, but we could add some more stone structures yeah. around as well. We could probably restrict it a bunch too, so it's kind of this just circle right here. Mm hmm. Let me see, because yeah, all of this is unused. Um, doing this should be using stone and I can just replace it and everything will look nice and random like it should be That's better. <laughs> this is this is not eroded. Okay, let me try yeah. simplex again. Or absolutely hideous. That could look good. Yeah, it's different. It's unusual. I I kind of like it. Let's go with this. Whoa. <laughs> this was this was not a good That is a lot of random noise. Yeah. Um 
We have enough things making random noise around here. I.e. me. Map's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> slash, slash, and do. Oh well. I'll just, I'll just use some TNT for fake walls. This goes like... That. That could be stairs. some redstone torches around them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That could look good. Slabs. Throw a few of those around. That'll make it look a little less, a little less blocky. Not that everything looks blocky, <laughs> but you know. Yeah, I'm thinking staircase here. This could go... This could come out slightly further in that direction as well if we needed to. Yeah.
to unlock the weapon. That seems a little bit better. Yeah. Too overboard with the slabs. He says going overboard with the slabs. could be very annoying. I could hit things down beneath as well. Uh, we could even do the render the render trick of something like that. Oh, that's just cruel. To stop them falling <laughs> off the edges quickly. Mm -hmm. We'll have to give the player some cover maybe on those ledges. So the skeletons really bug them if they go down. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Like this. There's a lot of cover here.
Making approving noises at everything. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I wonder if we could put a gravel trap up at the top. That would be kind of concealed from the Ooh. And then if, if the player hadn't cleared out all the assuming like spiders and stuff down here, they would land back into it. That could work. Okay, and then here. I think we're gonna have to do a dreaded spiral staircase. Oh yeah. Ooh, that'll give fun creeper opportunities. Something like this. And maybe off in that direction. Not an overly huge spiral staircase, so I don't hate it that much. from underneath. It also has a huge chunk of the wall, so it's fine. Unless I just do that. Upright bone blocks with carpet on top for spider eggs. Um, something like that, you mean? Too obvious what they are, but they're okay. We give opportunity to do a bit of skipsy parkour. Maybe I don't want to put one there. That's probably alright. That's probably fine. This corridor is now full of cobwebs. If this is coming down in this direction, there's not quite as many. Minecraft 
Being weird with lighting. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering how we can get some death to the wall still. Oh yeah, there's be a champion. Ah, they're changing this in the new update, right? For the, um... Uh, they're definitely changing something to do with this, yeah. I'm not sure if they'll actually fix the lighting though. Oh well, I'll just need to get back. Okay, good, that doesn't break out. Not too bad. Something like that. to put a something. who's randomly pinging me on the Discord. Aura. Hmm. Oh. Oh yeah, you guys going to continue the, uh, <laughs> the map with all four of you? Uh, that is plan for Thursday, yes. earlier Thursday, because later Thursday I have more of this. Magma Rock Hot Springs, as it may be. Oh! That's a better implementation of uh, dangerous water. select the whole cube at the end. Ah oh, yeah, that works too. There we go. Yeah. Um, this place looks a bit flat. Probably... Oh. oh no, that's bedrock. <laughs> yep, that's why it's a bit flat. Thank you. 
Close an eye to the wall. Yeah, too close. direction a lot I think yes so we can do corridor we can do a kind of curved corridor there's a lot of room up here do have to link up to that room at some point some pitfall traps that lead back down mm -hmm. and then have branching corridors offwards. But where would we want to put the wall? Oh, good. Maybe let's see. Let's fill in a couple of these air gaps. So if we did put in a full spot, I think this might be a good place for it. These four yeah, blocks right I here. So yeah. Could be fun. Oh yeah, yeah, we could cover the torches of glass too, that's true. Placing walls with blue. The fall trap hard to notice. Yeah, exactly. Don't currently exist. Okay. 
Okay. What do I want to use for the floor? Concrete powder, but which colors? Uh, let's see, what do you think about the design down here? Ooh, yeah. Something like this, then. Yeah. How do we make um, floating sand in this version? Uh, with a difficulty. In fact, I think. Does the peony trick still work in this version? It might. It will probably break uh, when I'm dating, but I think. Bush. This definitely worked at some point and they patched it out at some point, but I can't remember which versions it worked in and which they patched it out in. Huh, I see. I'm always just used to doing it in MC Edit. <laughs> So. That sounds promising. Awesome. As long as we don't update it. <laughs> of course, we have to make the path continue, which will probably involve updating it. Let me just put the flowers back for a second. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Not sure if they'll still be floating when it comes to 1.16. Uh, kind of that looks good. How much more direction have we got? Uh, we can go this far. Yeah, we've got a decent amount of space still. And this gives us more opportunities for traps. And this breaks out, so maybe we should move in that direction? Yeah, another corridor. Yeah, we can probably set up a room there, maybe have both the corridors line up to the same place. Or... Actually, I don't know if that's what just go to some loot and mobs. Slab. Oh, we're doing slab. There we go. Let's see which way do we have? Uh, hmm. Not really enough. I thought it was. Is that war? So if I do something like I think it's this war one. So I think we actually need to go slightly further over in this direction first. And then make the turn. over there. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I see. Oh, that could be fun if we have a attempt at this real quick. Kind of split corridor. I'm trying not to make anything too linear.
this wall. Excellent. Let's grab some blue. That's blue. Ooh. We could either fit some lighting in there or we could also have mobs kind of come out of it. What if we push this back by one? And then we. Oh. He ran out of room. We could oh, go we back, fix yeah. That. There we go. that way it'll give the mobs some uh, spawning time too, so they're all ready to go. actually even have a um, chest kind of bolted off here. Down with the walls. Room has four walls, ceiling, and a floor, and that is good enough for science. Okay, we don't need that. We only need it to start from here, really, because this will be floor. actually. place. And then this can go off further in this direction. Get that off my bar. Tripwire. <laughs> Why not? Actually, 
put this back in again. Uh, just for I don't know if lock updates will also cause it to go off. Yeah, leave it alone. Leave it alone, BSM, leave it alone. <laughs> if, the, if the floor suddenly falls, we'll know what happened. I'm going to do another uh, update and see how this looks. Yeah. Excellent. Stuff is going well. Okay. Stuff would be going even better with the addition of drop creepers. creepers can live in. Ceiling here, not a lot. Uh, 
Let's get some more of them slabs. Change the ceiling as well, but I think actually quite oh, well, with all these stairs, yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, sounds good. Stairs, yeah. stairs, stairs everywhere. more than build the little broom closet really. Or a painting trap. It could be a painting trap. <laughs> Painting. Paintings everywhere. Not no. It is yellow. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of lower the entrances here. Make the rooms feel kind of bigger. Exactly with that ceiling. Could be moved down a little. So much for the bedrock floor. <laughs> Let me see how it looks from the We probably won't need the bedrock floor, assuming the player doesn't know what they're looking for. Ah, uh, yes. How would they ever know? Yeah. He says on stream. <laughs> it's not like they're watching our every move. Oh, 
What can you do? Now, how much room do I have here before we go back and... Not bad, actually. Oh, corridor there. Oh, corridor there. What exactly do we want to actually put the wall? That's a good question. <laughs> Probably in one of these upper rooms. Oh, I, hmm. I'm not sure. We could put it at the end of this corridor. Uh, one of the windows here. I kind of like it there, but I'm also scared that the player might go from the entrance. Oh, look, there's a thing up there. Let me just bridge up here real quick, and immediately yeah, there's exactly. the wall. <laughs> What if, um, what if we have that ledge kind of convened between these two? Maybe a room in here? Sure, I quite like this little pathway leading here. Yeah, oh, this is the highest we can go. <laughs> slabs, then. Ooh. This is good. have a room down here that needs to be made still. Okay, we can't go any bigger than... Would this work or this just oh, looks strange? strange. That'll work fine. I wish we had a slight. I oh, actually, magma blocks preserve light levels, don't they? Uh, they do in this version, but I think they took that out in one fifty. I would assume not, but I don't know. Oh, I'll have this for now because I don't want it to be too bright so that things won't spawn. What do you think of putting the wall right here? Ah yes, good. I like it here. Alright. So did I not? <laughs> oh, and we can have one last bull trap probably. Oh, how would we? Or a please. Wait, there's more. <laughs> that would be funny. Uh... Let's 
get some more of the yellow. Yeah, like that will work. Something similar then. Maybe just there we go, a nice little trap to chest. There's a nice room. Yeah. Yeah, there could be a few paintings along this wall. Or painting here. Painting here might be good. plans. <laughs> That's relatable. <laughs> uh, Generally, I don't, I don't really like giving out enchanting tables or anvils, really, but that's just me. Okay, yeah. I like uh, anvils, but I think it really depends on the style yeah. you're going with. rather simple. I think it'll work. Yeah. Got a room here. Got a room here. Oh yeah. That looks good. <laughs> Do. 
idea of this being slightly more natural again, and then going with spiderwebs. Cobweb. This one I can go there. Okay. I think we've used pretty much all the space around here. Yeah. Yeah, this upper section is pretty full now. And we've got this place. Probably going to be a chest in that room anyway. Okay, so, good. like, but oh yeah, that'll work. We could probably uh, start planning the spawners and chests now. I kind of want to do all of that stuff on my own. I know I let Jack do all of that, but. <laughs> He had a yeah, pretty solid true. idea, and he had white, so the balance doesn't really matter as much because it's the first area. Uh... All right. But yeah. Oh, oh, let me show you. There's another little hole behind this painting. I don't know if you want to put some loot or something behind here. Yeah. Hmm. 
think there could be a ladder going down to a chest. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. This wall, though, it's too up against the edge. It's gonna kind of act as a little shortcut right here, too. Although, I doubt players will really need shortcuts in this. But, the uh, Oh. You can kind of see some lighting right there. That's weird. <laughs> that doesn't even fix it. Yeah. I can still notice it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. That'll know. work. They'll never notice. <laughs> Might be a little bit too bright. That'll work. Oh, yeah, it might be. That'll work, that'll work, that'll work. Oh, we'll be getting soul fire torches, too. I think those are... still brighter than redstone torches, though? Um, I think they're, yeah, somewhere in between redstone and regular torches. Yeah, I can't quite remember. I think. Those will be fun to play with. They're very fun. Blue fire. It's cooler than red fire because it's blue. Now we just need rainbow fire. Yeah, I think this is good. What do you think? Uh, anything we could add to it still? I think it's uh, pretty done. Torches, uh, yeah, regular torches are 14, soul torches are 10. Okay. Oh, interesting. So that is enough to disable a spawner if it's right next to it. Yeah, but also apparently not enough to melt ice, which is uh, actually useful information. Oh, soul yeah. fire torches might be useful for ice areas if you can get the... Uh, Required materials. <laughs> if there's soul sand around. Nice area is more bearable too. Yeah. these areas keep seeing, seeming to take the exact same length of time as a stream. This is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just the right uh, amount of size for the boxes. I 
I wonder if a gas would fit in here. No, that would be too chaotic. Uh, probably just about, but yeah. <laughs> It'd go off destroying all the walls. Maybe just a few more cobwebs back here. F3 and end to toggle between spectator and uh, creative. Yeah, I I kind of know that, but I can never remember the exact shortcut, so I never do it. But I should. It's really useful just flying around random places. As well. There we go. Just gonna add a little spike here. for me later that that is a thing which needs to go. the ability for something to drop down here. Oh, that's true. A shattered window would be better. Okay. Probably just a game or two. Looks alright, I think. Okay. Um, probably hiding more. Ah. I'm gonna be coming up this way. People yeah. never look up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Alright. I think we're pretty much done. It looks good. No glaring flaws. 
<laughs> of course, we'll probably see during playtesting. Uh huh. That's what the playtesting is for. Yep. Yeah, I think we've got a um, a good bunch of areas here so far, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I think so. Looking forward to seeing the late areas too. Mm hmm. Well. Oh well, 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 <laughs> well. Thank you very much for uh, building a, a box with me. Yeah, thanks for featuring me. Alright. Let me just fly out of here. <sighs> Funny tough. <laughs> <laughs> well, that will be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. Stay safe. Yep. And until the next one, I shall see you soon. See ya.